Okay, hello and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I can't remember which part this is because I took a little break from playing it, so... Apologies for my absence on Twitch. Yeah, so... Hope you are all having a lovely day and you are safe, wherever you may be. Okay, so we had... Ah yes, Harold. And Agent Ross, okay. I think we'll do some... Harold stuff first. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. At home with Incredible. Dad. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Oh, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, mm. but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Ah, oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. <laughs> it's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I have quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Okay. So he's recruit, uh, recruiting uh, Indian to do our bit for humanity, on the reservation. Okay. Follow me! Let's go! Easy. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlind? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlind fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> but anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into Whoa. it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. 
What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be yeah. no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. These trees are quite foreboding, the stars. Are, are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. It's this way, mister. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. So, I wonder if that is, like, what, um, he said about Charles Darwin. Saying that extinction isn't real, and species just evolve. Surely Darwin would have, would have known you can completely yeah. kill something with There's no species. The cliff. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. I don't know. That's very interesting, though. Very interesting. Might have to look into that one. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure <laughs> Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Cheerio. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Let's get moving, mister. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Alright, let's go. So we're here to... What are we here to do exactly? I know they said Dutch Vandalins recruiting people. So maybe we're here to find the people. And kill them? I wonder what they're planning to... Yeah, I don't know. I think we kill everybody here, if I remember right. Damn. Uh oh. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Okay. Oh, I don't need to find it, it fucking tells me. What is this? How do I... Okay. What's going on? Okay. Can I fight like a bear here or something? Is that... I'm sorry about the bunnies, but... I need the meat. Last <laughs> still. Plus, everybody in the camp would have heard that. They'd all be slightly suspicious right now. There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. Okay, well, let's go. Good. This should save us some time. I have a... Son. That was my fault. Oh. Okay.
more TNT. This way. What the fuck? Is that like some kind of crazy man? Crazy person? Oh shit. What the fuck? Right. Oh man. I'm gonna die straight away, aren't I? Ain't no need to die, friend! Fuck, I almost died like first engagement. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Uh, uh, which way do I go? You go ahead. I just need to rest a while. Doesn't look like I can go this way. Go on. Try. You don't want to miss your chance. I'll be fine. I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, no. That is not the way. Thought. What was that? Yeah, I thought I fought like a. Yeah, yeah, there is a bear. Okay, I'm gonna have to dead eye this one. Yes, sir. -y. Come on, let's get this over with. I will say the thing I like about this game, um, maybe even a little bit more than Red Dead Redemption 2, is the fact that you can just store everything in your inventory. Oh, I get the realistic, you know, like carrying the skins around. I get that. I do like it. But it just makes it a little more tedious when you're hunting and trying to really stack up on materials. Love the music. Oh shit. What the fuck? No. At least in this game, they don't kill you like first hit. Can I. Yeah. Did I get Cougar? Cougar Pearl? Cool. I know they're worth a lot. I want that money. Okay, that's the start. Don't you do all this shit at the end of the game when you kill Dutch? You kick him out of the cliff? Or you... No, he doesn't he commit suicide, actually, I think. Spoiler alert, lol. If you haven't played this 12-year-old uh, game already.
freedom. I can't kill freedom. Okay. I swear this is the Dutch fucking mission, right? Oh no, yeah. It, Neutralize <laughs> without them knowing I'm here. Okay, so what about all the gunshots and shit? My knife. Yeah. Sorry about this, buddy. Huh, look at that. He dropped. Oh, but I thought that was cash, like in GTA. <laughs> I can't even drop some fucking American dollars. Damn, he's cold, dude. He is cold. Mr. Marston? Shit. Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston! Put that stuff away! You banged your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Oh, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise oh. man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again... <laughs> he's a... F he's savage, man. I guess he is just like high all the time. Okay, here's another mission. He knows my name? What the hell? I think I might... Actually, I might do an Agent Ross mission. I'll go one for one. Mix them up. Great men are not always wise. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. Now, this really reminds me of GTA. Oh, like sniping missions, you know, you get one or two per game. Or maybe, you know, two or three, depending on the game. But, oh yes, this is very... This is a staple of, um, Rockstar games. That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. 
Guy Crossfield never misses okay. anything. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Don't shoot. That man is a hostage. You really think the bastard's killed? Open fire! Well, you said not to shoot them while they're still in there. They're gonna stay in there now. They're in the windows! Pick them up! Wait, they're in the windows? Wait. Can't let any get away, right? Oh, this is so sad. I'm making a break for it! Get you want to stop doing that? He's gonna die first. They'll cover the windows from up top. Over here. Shoot the lock off that door. Let's go. Watch out for hostages. Oh shit. Please don't kill me. What do you think you're playing at? Wait, is that a hostage? No. Damn, I suck today, dude. What is that? Is that... Is that a guy behind her? What is going on there? Oh, okay. Let's see. So how do I get in there? I guess this way? <gasps> oh, what? What do you mean I allowed it? I, I took too long. Shit. Come on, let's get in there! Okay, it doesn't work until Marsh, we get there. shoot the door open! Well, maybe I just lost, actually. Hurry! Get us through that door! Oh, shit. Never! 
killing all the Indians, dude. This is exactly what Nastus didn't want. That's kind of sad. Wait a minute, there's a nice big juicy safe right here. They didn't get the safe. Come on! So then... Let's get in there! Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Come on! We can get dude. you if we hurry! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! You got a gun too, My Sheriff! My fault! You waited too long! Next time I'll just shoot the girl! Get on your horses! I just saw Dutch make a run for it! Yeah, Abraham! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. Logging camp? So that's oh, the yeah, Dutch? Yeah, yeah. What a role model! A man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. The violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Yeah, that guy's a piece of shit. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Lawmen or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. You bastards can't ever give a straight answer, can you? There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fellas.
Okay, that was that, <laughs> that was the fucking dumbest idea. I have no idea why I did that. Oh, come on, man. Don't do me like this. Dudes. Saying a lot of these guys are Indian. Hey. You are about to get a serious whooping, boy. Well, it's a shame so many had to die, but I guess you know it's just how it goes. Dutch Marston. He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, well. That's life, yes. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, well, may as well do, may as well do this one. Uh, where is it? Oh, basic campfire. Do do travel to destination.
Ah, uh, of course. Of course. Man, I love me some black water. I love this place. The more famous I'm getting, the more people recognize me. It's pretty cool. Watch your step, partner. Okay, let's have a little rest. Uh, yeah. What time is it now? Okay, cool. Wait, don't I have a door I can just walk out? Okay, well, that works too. Hang on, I just want to have a quick look in here. See if there's any... Hello there. If we don't have it, frankly, thank you very okay. much. Have a good day. Now, if you need any help, let me know. Okay, well, onwards to Harold. Let's see what crazy shit he's gonna get us to do now. For pure, for pure, for purely scientific purposes. Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented <laughs> my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence <laughs> of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! <laughs> Whoever the voice actor is for this guy is Follow fucking me. incredible. I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. Qu quick, man, quick! <laughs> My heart's beating like a uh. drum! Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down! I I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Oh my god, this guy. I can help. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I mean, sure, why not? It's pretty standard. Come on! You know, standard thing to ask somebody. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. It's a bear! For the love of God, kill it! Are you crazy? Wait. What's wrong with you? Are we actually gonna kill it? Oh, man. Not before I get my materials. Come on! Don't take that there like a wet blanket! Ok. 
Okay, well... This is interesting. Here we are. I do like this. Easy. Wait. Is this? Very friendly, bunch, do they? Well, let's get this started. I hope I don't have to smoke a pipe. I don't remember this part. Wait, is there a... Okay. No. Excuse me. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, well, I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes we only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Do as he says, Marston. You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, okay, now this is fucking dead. I did not expect that. You won't leave me alone in here, will you? Get messed up. Put your gun down, friend! Okay, you know what? I'm better get out of the dumps in the I don't know about you, Professor, but Masters. I say we get the hell out of here. Well, he looks like he died pretty calm. Looks like he's just having a nap. Where is he? Yeah, he looks pretty peaceful. <laughs> What's going on with his face? Sorry, Nastus, you don't need this anymore. Man's got to make his money somehow. Okay, you know what? Yeah. There's too many. I can... I can live without getting some of them. We're gonna get ambushed, right? Of course. We should move quickly! There's plenty more where they came My from! My god, I feel terrible! My head is pounding! Getting shot at will do that to you! I'm completely drained! It's like my body has aged 10 years! Stop moaning and run! <laughs> you can't oh, be shit. happening! Okay. Not again! Oh, come on! That was gonna be really cool. Good. What is... It's all right. Not bad, Marston. Did he just say not bad, Marston? Come on. He's complimented himself in third person. Not get one kill. Oh, I, just, I hate how the horse stops riding, man. You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend. Jesus, that was close. They're coming back for sure. Oh no, we're pretty much here. Come on. I can safely say that that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Oh, 
I will never talk ill of you again! Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal! And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. <laughs> so you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again! Yes. Slow up. Oh, I love the clip clops. So good. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. Okay, well. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I should be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. But what about Nastus? Or Natas or Oh well, that's a shame. It's kinda sad. I just told him to get some rest, he's going straight back. Oh no, okay, so this one's at night time. He just, she just said, "Ain't." She just called me a rascal. Someone told me that the town here is going to learn to me. Watch yourself, miss. I'm afraid I'm married. Okay, I think we should get John a new look. You know, just keep him. So I don't have all I have is this. You know what? No, we'll keep him in the dust for now. <laughs> I changed my mind. I need some new outfits. Okay, what's the time? What's that? Nine o'clock. Yeah, so it should be nine time. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Everyone's talking about me. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages. Savages. I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're going to kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. 
You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the river. <laughs> Get you back to your ivory tower. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. oh. Oh my. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. He's going to kill okay. me! One more move, he's going and he's a me. dead man! On oh, move. shit. How did I... Wait, what? How did I... What am I missing? What do we do now? They've got us what? pinned down on both sides! Holy shit. Should I snipe? Still alive? Come on. Wait. Okay, no, it's not. Stop pointing, for Christ's sake! Oh man, I hate this gun. I mean, I can't really blame the gun, like, I am terrible with it. Absolutely terrible. What are you standing like? <clears throat> uh. Okay. Is it over? Dead, dead. You really ain't helping, McDougal. I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on then, let's make a break for it! The horses should be in an alleyway down here! The escape. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Head for Manzanita Post. I'm taking the first train out of here. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting yeah, the last days true. of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. <laughs> Awesome. Leave me alone! I can't believe this! Let's go chase Is my horse doing? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm terrible at the um, horseback riding in this game. I know RDR2 is a little different, and it's a lot easier. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. Come on. Right to the station. 
I'm not staying in this place a minute longer! This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong! At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Ooh. Yeah. Well, that's a treat. <laughs> Get behind them. I think that's the trick here. Manzanita, hurry up. Come on! Hurry! There's more of them! Of course there's more. Always more. Okay, well, bye, Harold. Ah, fucking maniac. My research is complete. Racist drug thought. addict. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Best of luck, dear friend. <laughs> Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. Okay, well. That's the end of that. Okay, now I can't remember if I've been here in a previous stream. I think there's stuff you can buy here. Right. Well, I know there's stuff you can buy. Yeah, tall trees. That. Pretty soon they'll be introducing more comfortable trains so you can entice the wealthy. Uh. Alright, tall trees. Cool. Um. Okay, so now I have to go back. Can I rent a place here? Go back to okay, Agent Ross. I think I don't rent this, like, I actually buy this, right? 400. I can't see how much I have because of the little stream things in the way. Hang on. What is that? 643, okay. Mm. Oh, I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, wait. There's. Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. It's not this game you can fast travel between. Save points, it's fucking um undead nightmare. Alright, oh, we'll hop on I in. That for no reason. You know, I can travel for free. It's my camping thing. Fuck. It's wasted four hundred dollars.
Oh well. <laughs> Let's go. Guess that's what I get for being high, right? Fucking no. Okay, can I camp? It's probably gonna tell me no. No, it needs to be flying around, you idiot. Oh, okay. Cool. Travel to destination, travel to waypoint. Man, I'm to be honest, I'm so glad we're out of Mexico. Oh, I fucking hated it there. I'm gonna be honest, it was always my least favorite part of the game. It's because it's just so flat and there's nothing out there. It's just barren and at least there's like buildings. And what do you stuff. want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now. After the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. I, <laughs> I do that all the time. can relate to that part. Is that an armored vehicle? Ah, yes. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? Come quick! Take a look at this thing! 
You punch a gun until I tell you. Run, buddy. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. They told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh, my God. What kind of automobile This killing machine of yours seems Ladies. to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you and call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The army yes, has to camp well. a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw them in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. So why, why aren't the military doing this? Why am Here I the one to be? Look, they brought the machine gun. This is cool. Music's pretty tense. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbags! Move! Damn, Damn I actually need the military to catch him. I guess so. Oh, he's dead eye. What is that over there? You see that? Keep like your eyes peeled! I didn't even think it was possible for them to throw sticks of dynamite at me like that far. Please tell me this checkpoint's like right. Okay, good. Can I get off this thing? Hold your this fire is like a death until trap. I give the word. It's not that effective. So they come from over here first. Targets on the they... horizon. Fire and blue. Who wants me now? We'll kill you all! I've been waiting for this day! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Help him. 
to happen? Was that meant to happen? Or did I just... fail? Okay, well, it's meant to happen. That's nice, he tried to help me out. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't have to wait for him. Cool. Hear that? It was like uh, someone crying out in pain. It was only very faint. Like if you were just listening to it through your phone, you wouldn't even know yeah. hear it. The headphones on. Faintly hear like sound like someone's crying out in pain. It's kind of. Yeah, I think this might be the end. Uh, well, not the end, but this is where Dutch. Uh, yeah. You know. See, I like how it's snowing. Is it? Is it always snowing here? I don't remember if it's always snowy. For some reason I remember it, maybe it's Red Dead Redemption, yeah. uh, like RDR2, but I remember it being not snow. Let's go. Yeah, we go around the back way, right? If that was RDR2, like, we'd be dead. Both would have died. I like that guitar. I 
Actually, that's base. I think I didn't have to ride with them while they're, you know, constantly chatting my ear off. Take fucking 15 minutes to. Holy shit, okay. Well, that works too. Power horse. Uh, I'm. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Uh, the bathroom break, but I'm gonna let this keep playing. Uh, yeah, so. Right back. You! Blow that gate open! Move, soldier! Money now because I spent it all on a Don't fucking house I'm never gonna use. There's another way, Bubba! Take the high ground. Oh, I can see. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, hello there. This is great. Kind of stupid of me. Let's go, Come man. In. Move into the village. Come on. But this is a good spot. I feel. Just uh, pick them off, sort of. Oh, <laughs> I'm 
so bad at this dude. do I have left? 13. Okay. Oh. That's the whole, like, I'll take a bullet for you, man. <laughs> yeah, we're good. John, stop being... Yeah. This is lighting things up. Oh, no. Why, yes it is. Oh, dude, look at all Sorry, the... Pardon. Look at all the loot. I'm not gonna bother with all of it. Just the, the ones in my path. Marston, we'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I will provide the cover fire. All right, men. Okay. Blow that gate open. Keep them covered now, Marston. Hold them off. We need time to set the explosive. Come on. Uh... Stop right there. Oh, oh shit. Man. So much cover. Oh, shit, man. This is not a good spot. Shit, one's already dead. Are you kidding me? Good. You're right. Where's the fucking hell? Stop shooting me. No way, he's inhuman. Everyone get back! Tender, you're wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. Looks like huh. it's me and you, John. You should have stayed at home. You better follow me. Whoa. States Army. Kill Dutch's guards. <laughs> to the government, John. After all, I'm gonna wreck. No, John, what are you doing? You're weak. It always works. You never had the stomach for this. Oh, this keeps it. Son of a bitch. God damn it. You'll never take me cool. alive, John! <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. How many times have we heard that? You'll never take me alive! Love it. It's over, John! I ain't leaving here without you! You was my brother! played cards together. We shared women. Yeah, here. You're just like oh. me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. This is cool. Uh, so this is where they keep all their stuff. So, uh, where's the... Okay. Up we go, as Gandalf would say. You can't erase the past, 
time. Killing me, it won't make it go away. That's oh, where you're me, wrong. He showed at me twice. Showed at me twice that time. He's really angry now. It's, I wonder if this whole area is accessible, like, after this mission. I can't see why they wouldn't. Okay. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. And so passes Dutch Vanderland. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, <laughs> I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, You've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. <laughs> okay, well... That's that, right? Now I know that I need is the one so he's back to you. okay so yeah Dutch is dead now we can go home and see and Annabelle and maybe start our lives again as it were oh, he's the one. so very interesting very he's interesting back to you. Burning blisters on my feet will call. Wait, I wonder if I can just do one of these. <laughs> to hold me as I'm close to fall. I mean, it's not far, but it just saves me riding. <coughs> okay, let's see Annabelle. After all these years. Easy up now. The outlaws return. 
Yes, indeed. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Or no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. <laughs> that ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Okay, well, that finally... It's finally happened. Jack! All this fighting. Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens, and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, <laughs> old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, well, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you've learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Okay, well, we now, it, it appears, we now have our life back. Yay. Okay, new outfit too. Was that like a rancher outfit? Cool. Well, I think this is where I might leave this stream. Uh, end it here and then uh, pick up in the next part. Um, I yeah, really enjoyed this one. So we finally are back now. We're at Beaches Hope. We have our family. In the next part, we will go and get some cattle. Um, but yeah, no, good part. Uh, Dutch is dead. Nastus is dead. Harold got out free and alive. So, um, yeah.
thanks for watching. Uh, tune back in for part. Uh, I want to say seven next time. Let me just check because it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these. So. Yeah, so this is uh, this is part six. So come back for part seven, and um, yeah, we'll play some more Red Dead Redemption together. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you may be, and stay safe, everybody.